do you know or think that President Mahama was behind that, you know, undermining decision to remove him from the house? Well, I have, I have no facts, but I know the, when the thing happened, like I said, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I've been recording some of it, what happened, then who was who did what. And you know something? When the people were brought the 25 Kufo buses, went to certain corners, chased our people, and they were, people were voting 10, 15 times, and they called me. And as a youth, <laughs> Leader for 20 years, the youth came from all over the place, wanted to come and fight. When I was told that, you can ask my wife and people who knew. You can ask, you know, Simon. I called them into a room and said, my friends, don't go out. I'm going to fight for what? Because they begged me to go and be a member of parliament. In, you know, because uh, Prabhupada said I was such a key figure, you mobilizing the people, so I had to be in the center. And up to 1996, Pamela was nothing. We can talk about Pamela later. And then, uh, 10 elders from Ningo and Pram Pram, including my two you know, uh, uncles and my senior brother, to come beg me that I should blah, 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 blah. So I obtained permission that, okay, 1996, let me go on. Run. Just run it, and I went on run, and it went on and on and on. Yeah, so when I pulled them out there, Sibon was here, it's my witness. I told them, listen to me, gentlemen, don't go on fire. They were going to crash the action which happened in Awiyam. The home village of the M current MP. No, that was why they went and played the game. All the buses went there, and people were just voting without anybody checking and all that. And then the they didn't even get 10,000. Anyway, so I told them, listen to me. They are going to do this because of me. I have been in the system. 10 years, Mayor, and Minister. I've been in several ministries and all that. And people know my record. I have gone around the country. I have the youth, may ask them today. It was from most of the... Uh, the former education minister, I'm going to ask him. Anytime I got to Kumasi, the hall will be filled. And there they when he became a member of parliament, say, hey, now how did you do? Because the people will run there, they are coming even and come and watch. And they sometimes even come to listen to us. We did all this. I don't want anybody, I don't want any blood in my white. Why well, I consider white apparel, I don't want it. Because I didn't want to come, and I wanted to stop. They said, go on, and this one. So if it is the way some people want it, let it be. And I told them. That, that is why some of the things that I told, some of the youth, I've told them that thing several. I've told you this several on the platform. Violence. Che Guevara wrote once upon a time that if you are going to unleash violence, you have to be careful. You must be sure that you have put in place structures that can manage the fallout. Otherwise, don't do it. And I was not ready to put in place spare management, any structures to go on. Because the people will go way above excesses. the instruction. There will be excesses. Yeah, there will be excesses. And, and you can't be, control those. There will be fatalities. Mm. The way they were, you know, what is it that you are doing this? And they listened to me, we gave them food, gave them TNT, and they went home. 